Canada, how can I help you? Hello, hello. Uh, uh, I'm calling back. I get the number here. You can tell me uh, to call back. All right, sir. Uh, can, can you verify me your first name and the last name in order to go ahead and pull out your, your information? Uh, yes, my first name is Yuri. Y U R I. Yuri. Y O U R. No. Y U R I. Okay. And what's your last name? Uh, Bagashit. It's B A G G A S C H. I T T C H A I D D right I T T I T T T is in Tom. Okay, I, okay. It's, it's pronounced Yuri Bagashit. Okay, Mr. Yuri, can you verify me your social insurance number in order to register your social insurance number with the Sarah account for your verification? Uh, social insurance number? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, why you need this? Uh, I don't know who you are. Because, because after, yeah, you have an insurance number with a CRA account, okay? And in order to pull out your, your information. Uh, uh, okay, yes. Uh, the, the number right now is number uh, 653. Mm hmm. Oh, I'd like to wish you a happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, are you from Canada? Yes, of course. Oh, what, what about the Canada? This is the investigation department of the Canada, okay, sir? And you are speaking with the investigation officer. My name is Anthony Lucas. In Ontario? The number of one oh. Yes, correct. Is Our on, address is uh, Herons Road, Ottawa, Ontario. And the postal code is K1A182. Oh, oh okay. Uh, yes, okay. I just. So can you uh, verify me your insurance number, sir? 653? Uh, 653, uh, uh, 693. Okay, 653, again 693. Yes, uh, 796. Okay. Yuri, just hold on for a second. Okay, let me go ahead and register this number with the CRA. Okay, and then I'll just go oh. ahead and pull out your information. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, Mr. Mr. Yuri, uh, my name is Anthony Lucas. My fr first name is Anthony and my last name is Lucas. Ant now, Anthony Lucas. Okay. Uh, I, I, I write down. Uh, hold on. I get the pen and the paper. Okay, sure, sure. You can, uh, you can note another problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anthony. A N T H O N Y. Lucas. L U C A S. Yeah, okay. Correct. Yes, that's exactly. So now. <coughs> you were Sir, telling uh, me my you were going to give me your uh, bitch ID number, your bitch ID? Yeah, yeah, that is 1026. 1026 is your bitch ID? 89. Or 89. 10268. No, only 8. 10268. Oh, so no 9. Yeah. Okay, this is your bitch ID, okay? All right. Uh, see now, the reason why the CRA is uh, filing a serious allocations against you is because allocation. The CRA is filing. No, the CRA is filing serious allocations. Yeah, against your name for allocations. A okay. Tax fraud. Yeah, and a tax evasions and tax there is fraud? a warrant out for your arrest. Speedy sure you cancel. Yeah. A warrant for tax fraud. Yeah. 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 So, do you have a criminal lawyer who can represent you to the courthouse? Uh, no, I, I, I know get trouble before. No lawyer, never, no. Are you sure you have the right person, Yuri Bagashit? Tax, fr tax fraud? Yes, of course we have. Yeah. Oh. I don't understand. Can you explain? All right, sure. 
see, uh, Mr. Yuri, now the reason why <coughs> the CRA is filing a serious allegations against you and the reason why there is a warrant out for your errors has been issued is because uh, see, the audit departments of the CRA have conducted a re-audit, okay? The re-audit? Uh, the taxes? Yeah. Yeah, your personal income tax, okay? Uh, now, see, you can now down your case ID number as well. Okay. Your case ID number is CV. CV. Uh, 7416. 7416, okay? Correct, yeah. Now, Mr. Yuri, now the reason why the CRA has filed a series of locations against you and the reason why there is a warrant out for your arrest is being issued against you is because the audit department of the CRA have conducted an audit between the year of 2012 to 2016, okay? So when we have conducted an audit, we found out that there was a kind of a mistake, miscalculations and error which was found under your name. And we also found that there is the outstanding amount which you have audited the CRA, that is $3,000. Five hundred seventy-six dollar and fifty cents. Um, how much money? So now the how much? It it's three thousand five hundred seventy-six dollars. Five thousand three thousand so five hundred seventy-six seventy-six. Seventy-six seventy-six. Uh, this is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. seventy-six dollar and three yeah, thousand. Th uh, uh, this don't make sense. It says. You mean three thirty-five thousand five hundred seventy-six dollar and sixty cent? Yeah. Thirty-five. No, 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 no. I I owe I owe CRA thirty-five thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollar. No, no. no, no. It's three thousand five hundred seventy-six dollar oh, and sixty cent. Oh good. Oh good. Because uh, I I have the thirty-five thousand, but three thousand five hundred. 67. See, this amount is including your pending taxes, legal charges, and late fees, okay? okay. The uh, total outstanding amount, whatever you have ordered the CRA, is $3,576.50. And this was audited from year 2013 to uh, what year? It's 2012 to 2016. Okay. How come I no get nothing in the uh, the 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 postal? No call. No no nothing in the post. Nothing come. See. Now see the reason why this see at this point of time for committing a tax fraud with a CRA you will not receive any kind of paperwork. Okay, but uh, paperwork. If you are having a yeah, you will not receive any kind of paper and documentations because this is all about the tax fraud and tax evasion. Okay, that's the only reason you're, you're not going to receive any kind of paperwork or you're not going to receive any kind of uh, documentations. But w what we did is that we tried to contact you from our 1-800 number, okay? That, that is from the direct phone number of the CRA headquarters. Uh, I get this, so I get this number. I know get 800 number. Please, sir, first of all, listen to me. Don't interrupt me. All right? See, if you keep on interrupting, you will not understand. Okay? So listen to me very carefully because this goal is very important for you. Because as soon as you or I disconnect this line, then you will get an arrest. Because your arrest warrant will be activated from the RCMB department. So once the arrest warrant got activated, in the next 40 to 50 the, minutes... Uh, the what, what, the what department? What, what, what department? Is the RCMB. RCMB? Yeah. What is RCMB? Israel Canadian Mountain Police. No, that is RCMP, not RCMB. Yeah, you say RCMB, not P. Are you correcting me? Yes, because you say RCMB. You no say RCMP. So I correct then a little. Why you think of the arrest? If if you think you are smart enough, if you think that you can prove no, 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 house, no, 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 I I do not understand when you say RCMB. I no understand. I understand RCMB. And uh, hire a criminal lawyer and fight against with the government. If you think that you are smart enough, if you think that you can challenge the, the government, all right. If you can think that you have, you can load this case. Then what? Why don't you just hang up the call 
and let me go ahead with a legal procedure. No, I don't want to do this. No, I I don't want the information. See, because uh, Yuri, as soon as you disconnect the line, in uh, in next 45 minutes you will be getting arrest. And not only that, all your assets like your house, your car, is uh, it's going to be seized and frozen by the government. Okay, your well-known bank account like your savings, your check-ins, like your credit cards, your debit card is going to be blocked and it's going to be seized by the government. And all your wages and benefits, whatever the <laughs> benefits or that you are receiving from the government is going to be stopped and by all your wages and benefits will be frozen by informing your employer and the government bodies. And if you have any existing payment plan with the CRA, that also will be stand there under the section 30 of the CRA tax code because What's there I'm, is I'm four sorry. serious locations <laughs> being... You go, you're talking too fast and I, I having a hard time understand. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> see the government will, see, because the reason why we are taking this kind of legal step, uh, we are taking this case very seriously is because there is a four serious allegations being placed against your name. That is count number one. <laughs> Violations of the Federal Tax Regulations Act 1986 and count number two. Violations of the CRA tax code and count number three. Theft by deceptions and count number four. Willful uh, theft, te te theft by to deception? Theft. Did you yes, just say correct. theft? Because, yes, theft by deception. Theft. How you spell? Yeah. Yeah, because, see, this is all about a criminal What case, is theft? Okay? I case, don't understand theft. T-E-F-T? -E no. <laughs> see, so now uh, the warrant... You the, say uh, theft. What is theft? You need to explain to, uh, theft. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and hang up the call and support. No, call you need to hang up the call and go back to Nagaland and learn to speak the English. Why don't you just go and fuck yourself, man? Fuck you, Marachod, piece of shit. Go back to Nagaland. Who you are? fucking scammer. Well, who are you, man? Who are you, man? Yeah, what you what are, what are you a Gami tribe? Are you go, go back to Kohima. Maybe you learn some English. I'm sorry? Go back oh, to Kohima, okay? And maybe, or Moko Chung, wherever the fuck you're from. All right, and where learn some English. Where is that? It's in where Nagaland, you piece of shit. You should know where it is, because that's where, where you're where from. That? That's where you're from, my little Nagamese motherfucker. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Motherfucker. motherfucker from Nagaland. Yep. Go back you to Nagaland. Yourself, man. Yeah. Oh. Go right now. Couldn't take the heat. Couldn't take the heat. Little piece of shit. Nagami scammer. Hey, you motherfucker. What's the matter? You, you run away like a coward? And he hangs up. <laughs> Uh, he hangs up like a little coward and goes running. So let me just change the number here, guys, and let's see if we can get Mr. Lucas back on the phone. Let me just change my number. Little shitbag Mr. Lucas. Canada, I can help you. Mr. Lucas, you little shitbag, why are you running away? Why do you run away? Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run like a coward. <laughs> oh, what a piece of shit. Let's see if I can get him back with another number. <laughs> Uh, hold on, it's changing number of beeps. Happy 4th of July. If you're in America. Is Revenue 
Canada, how can I help you? Fuck you, motherfucker. You can't get away from me. You're gonna fuck you. <laughs> oh, what a little piece of shit. What a little piece of shit. We'll get him right back. Watch this. Canada, how can I help you? What's the matter, motherfucker? You keep answering the phone. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. <laughs> oh, little piece of shit. He's getting pissed. Hello, it is for Canada Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yes, hello. Uh, I'm returning back a phone call I just got. Okay. So just verify me your name, your first name and your last name. Um, yes, my first name is Anthony. An Anthony. Yes. Last name is Lucas. What did you tell your last name? Lucas. Yeah, Just Anthony Lucas, yes. Just spell it your last name. L U C A S. And what is your social insurance number? My social insurance number? Yeah. Um well who are you? I don't know who you are. Who are you? So I will give you my detail, my each and every day detail I will give you. But I need first to verify your social insurance number oh. so that I'm giving the right information to you. Oh, okay, so For yes. that reason, I need to verification. It's a 307-282-780. A say, say it slowly. What you told? Zero? What? So say it a little slowly so that I can hear it. Okay. 307 282 780 Yes, 780 Yeah, okay So, sir, just do one Just grab a pen and a piece of paper and let me know when you are ready Okay, hold on Okay, I got the pen and the paper, yes yeah. So first you write down my name. Okay. My name is James Lopez. James Lopez. James Lopez. L O P E Z. Yeah. P E S. Hello, -E oh P E S. Okay, this is very good Spanish yeah, name. Lopez. Very good Spanish name. Are you Spanish? No, sir. Oh, this is a Spanish name. So, so, and you write down my batch ID number. My batch ID number is T I M. But I'm sorry, you say this is your batch ID number? Yeah. Okay. C R M. Two two o four eight five. O four eight five. Okay. Fine. Yeah. This is my batch ID number. That's your batch ID number, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now before I go ahead with this call, let me inform you that this call is being monitored and recorded by the Canada Revenue Service and the Department of Justice. Oh, oh so by the way, ha happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Okay. Yes, sir. Did, you, did you celebrate it very well? Did you celebrate Canada Day? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. it was good. Lots of barbecue and yes. Listen to me now very carefully. Okay. Now before I go at this call, don't interpret me while I'm explaining. 
Because once I've done, I will give you a chance to ask you a question that you have. Okay. 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 Yeah. That is the reason why we are trying to get in touch with you is because there is a lawsuit that has been filed against your name, and that tell you the reason why. Okay. There was a random audit that was conduct on your tax file from the year 2012 till 2016. It was five year random audit and it was conducted by the government, by the federal government. So on that, what they found was that there was some miscalculation error on your tax file. I mean, uh, uh, miscalculation? you are not filing your tax correctly. Okay. So, sir, let me ask you a question over here. Yeah. Who file for your tax, sir? Do you file it by yourself or do you hire a third person to file your tax? No, I, I bring it to a, I have a certified CPA. You have a CPA? Yes, it's a Rak why, Rakesh Makesh CPA and Associates. Then, sir, why are you showing over here error on your tax file? I'm sorry? Over here, we can see there are some miscalculation error on your tax file. You can see the how much, what reason, was the I miscalculation? Yes, I will tell you. See, why I'm trying to tell you, because the government is thinking that you are trying to defraud the government by hiding your actual income. No. So for that reason, they have... I would never do that. I, I love the government. Evidence. Yes, sir. So we can see your all records are clean. You, uh, you are having no criminal record. So for that reason, we had given you a call because you are having very clean record. So we don't like to do any trouble for you. So for that reason, we are giving you a call so that we can help you. Help? Because oh, okay. the government has the whole allegation on your name. See, I am reading the allegation what the government has charged on your name. Okay. Count one, violation of federal tax regulation. Count two, violation of federal tax regulation by the government. Theft by, de theft by deception. Yeah. And the third is theft by deception. Count four, willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization. Um, which mean under the section I, of... I don't Rick understand. Te te teft, teft by deception? I, I would never do that. Yeah. Okay, so I can know that you are a very mean person. But what the government is thinking that you are trying to defraud them. So for that reason, they has released a non billable arrest warrant on your name. A non what? Because the current outstanding. I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you said. Non non what? Non no, non valuable non valuable arrest warrant. Not no. I, I still don't understand that. A Aileable? I don't understand. Non what? Yeah. Non valuable arrest warrant. Because they had recovered strong evidence. Oh. And okay. right now the current outstanding amount you have to pay to the government is four thousand. Seven hundred and eighty-six dollar. How much? Four thousand what? Four thousand seven hundred and eighty-six dollar, which including your legal charges, your late payment of fee, and your due date. Jeez. So what do you have this amount right now to pay to the government? Um, I have the money. Yes. Yeah. So what do you want to do? Do you want to resolve this matter? Inside the courthouse or outside the courthouse? No, I don't want, want to, to go to the goat house. Matter? I can't go to the goat house. It stinks. There's shit all over the floor in the goat house. No, no goat house. If you want to resolve this matter outside the courthouse, for that you have to speak to my senior officer. Have you ever he been to the goat house? Have you ever been there? Have you ever been to the goat house? It, it's It's hard. Um, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, you explaining? Yeah. Yes, sir. So what do you want to do? Shall I transfer it to my senior no, officer? No, no, because if you, go, if you go to the goat house, if you go to the goat house, you might become a bakrechod. Yeah. You don't want to be a bakrechod, no, do you? Want you? To do so? 
No, if you want to resolve hey, this matter outside hey, of hey, the Hey, 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 Marachod. Hey, Marachod. Is this is this your first day on the job? Is this your first day scamming? You, because you're such a chutia yes. right now. You are such a chutia. What are you okay. doing? What are you doing scamming? This is like your second okay. day on the Nothing. job. Your English okay. is. Hey, Marachod, your English is horrible. Okay. What are you doing? No, seriously. If you don't want me to abuse you, we can have a conversation. Seriously, dude. What are you doing? You're working with the Nagas. You're working. You're you're Hindu. <laughs> and he hung up. <laughs> James Lopez. I hope you're enjoying this little. Arishu Canada Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yeah, it's me calling back. Why'd you hang up on me? Mr. Lopez? Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Lopez? Yeah. Yes. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Seriously. What are you doing doing this job? You you seem like you have a good heart. I know you do. But you're doing this shitty job, man, where you're stealing from Americans. Why? I know it's hard in India, man. I know it's hard to find a job. Just don't hang up on me. Let's have a talk. I fucking get it, dude. But these modichodes that you're working with are fucking horrible. <laughs> and he runs away. And he runs away again. All right. I'm trying to be nice. Revenue Canada, how can I help you? Yeah, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, hi, um, I, I'm returning this phone call I just got. Okay, just hold on five seconds, sir. Uh, let me go ahead and pull out your information, okay? Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, who am I calling? Who are you? Ye hello? What's your name, sir? Yeah, what's your name, sir? My name's Kermit. K-E-R-M-I-T. Kermit. K E R M I T. Okay, and what's your last name? Um, uh, it's capital D E. Capital F R O G G. D Frog. I'm sorry. Kermit D Frog. How do you spell it? K E R M I T. Capital D E. Mm -hmm. Capital F R O G G. It's D E F R O G G, right? Yes. And who may I be? Sp who am I speaking to? Are you speaking with the investigation officer? My name is uh, Anthony Lucas. Okay, and you have reached to the investigation department of the Revenue Canada. Oh, okay. Hello, Mr. Anthony uh, Lucas. Um, yeah, I want you to verify my social insurance number in order to go ahead and register with the CRA account. <clears throat> oh, Anthony Lucas, sounds like you got something in your throat. Anthony Lucas keeps running, and I can keep playing with you because I can change my voice, motherfucker. I can change my voice. And why don't you talk to me? Talk to me for a minute instead of abusing me. Uh, Anthony. And... Mr. Lopez. Thank you for calling Revenue Canada. Speaking to Officer Jonathan Wilford, how may I help? Um, yes, hi. I'm returning a phone call I just got. Okay, when did you receive the call, sir? Um, just a, probably a little while ago. I just checked my voicemail when this, this number was here, but I couldn't... The voicemail wasn't clear. What is, who, who are you and who, 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 who am I calling? You've called Canada Revenue Agency. Um, why? Okay. 
Okay, can I help you with something? Yeah, um, Anthony Lucas. Do you know Anthony Lucas? He's working right next to you. He says that you have a veteran. <laughs> These guys. All right, let's go in for the abuse. I know it's a long video, but whatever. These guys are so dumb. Thank you for calling. CRA, how may I help you? Who's this? Is this Anthony? Yes, how may I help you? Or is this Mr. Lopez? Oh, hi, Lopez. How are you? How are you doing today? Thank you for calling the CRA right now. Can I please have your social security number so I may check your file? <laughs> uh, all right, let's get him riled up. Thank you for calling, CRA. How may I help you? How you doing again, motherfucker? I'm going to call you all day. I'm going to abuse you all day. Oh. All day. I got nothing no better problem. to do. Nothing and Best better. of luck. Bye-bye. Nothing. I'll call you again. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. I'll change my number again. Okay, people, hold on. Hope you're enjoying this on our lovely 4th of July Wednesday. Um, I was going to do a live stream, but I have plans with family. So that comes first, And uh, but I wanted to get something out to you guys today. So I hope you'll enjoy this. I know there's no visuals, but... Might be a good audio while you're cutting the grass or whatever. Hello, this is Canada Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I'm getting a calling right now to call this number back in right now, really fastening. First, you verify me your first name and your last name. Okay, yes, my first name is Mata Chod and my last name is Ben Chod. And your name is Teddy Maki okay, Chut. Thank you for calling. You got to. Canada, how may I help you? It's me again, Mata Chod. You're my puppet. You are my puppet. You are a chute. You are both a DK Gandu Chutia. Mata Chod. Um, yeah, I'm at the Bitcoin machine right now. Um, I need to uh, transfer my money into tax dollars. Who told you that, sir? Um, Officer Lucas? Or was it Officer Lopez? One of you dumb fucks over there told me to go to this Bitcoin machine right here. When, when did we call you? What? 
What do I got to do? And he answered the phone again. And he answered the phone again. What a shitbag. You're my little toy, my little puppet today. Uh, that's okay. They're getting really nervous now. <laughs> we'll call him right back. These guys are ridiculous. Leave your message after the oh, tone. No. When done, hang the, up or press the pound key. Is the so, is the number done right now? What's going on here? Wait a second. Let me change my number again. That number might be down. That would be awesome. Copy. Let me put in another number. Because as you know, this has been picking up. I might have aggravated the shit out of them so much already. Let's see. This could be good. Hold on. I'm calling, calling from another number. Yay, CRA is down, maybe. Let's hope. Unavailable. Hold on, I'm gonna try text now. I'm going to try my text now account just to make sure. I will put this number in the uh, description. But let's give him a call through text now and time one more time to be sure peeps I'll get them on two lines going at one time just to make sure Well, that's it. They're not answering now. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. I know it's a bit long, but I think it was fun. All right, everybody. Bye.